Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fruit Sand. It's me, Lord Grapefruit, and on this lovely long form Friday, we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice. When last we left off, we passed through the gates of hell, faced many enemies immediately, and uh, were cast off the bridge by Hella. Our sword is broken, we are shaken, and we followed Dillian's uh, shade as far as we could. But now, the journey is going to continue. We have a new set of runes to find. And we'll see how it goes. Still injured. <clears throat> Not moving especially fast, but we know the first runes are... Or the first lore stone is right over here. Little jog, not too much, don't want to tax it too much. I'm still kicking myself over those last two that I missed, but... The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Okay, so that's the story vibe that we have right now. We've got the door right there. We got some more beach ahead. And I'm going to pull up the name of the runes, actually, before we... Okay. Now I have a update... Like, not updated. An actual rune list in front of me. So I can try to figure that out. Okay. There's going to be... It looks like there's stuff up the top, so let's go up there. The door is all glowy. Um, that way we can start looking for runes. Okay. I will probably say the names wrong. Don't get it twisted. But I can at least try. Oh, there's another one over here. Speaking of, floor stones. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. No, we will not. Okay. I was hoping I could just get a view of the door from over here, but it looks like we're going to have to figure out a way up. But we found the lore stone, so that's good. Kimon's is standing upright. Doing better and better, just not good. Oop. Okay, okay, okay. Sometimes that happens with ladders because uh, when it changes direction like that, it ends up being just a little bit of a twisty thing. Okay. So how do I look at the bridge? Get up there. I'd love to be able to look at it. 
there another ladder? There's a tunnel. Oh, there's my eyeballs. I'm a little too close. I'm just trying to see if there's an obvious way up. Not that I can tell. Okay. This game is pretty. Look at that. Eat to hell and in hell, literally. Um, well, I don't know if literally, because we didn't cross the bridge. Okay. This is not a tunnel. This is it. Maybe. Can I go in? Can I get closer? No. Okay. Sewer, but I can't get in there. How am I supposed to get up to that bridge? Okay. Let me go this way for a little bit, see what we can find. Trying not to injure our girl further, because she is super hurt still. jog. Less jog. I'm just trying to keep her from collect- okay, there's something right there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I saw it. It was painted white. That means it's for me to look at. How do I get up there? At least I assume that bridge had the, had the thing on it, but... We need to figure out how to get there, so I think we get to climb the boats. I kind of want to just see what's all the way over here as well. Oh, and because I forgot to mention it, I'll just put it on screen now. Uh, there is the failures marker. We have had three failures so far. I'm going to make it smaller this time, put it just a little bit further in the corner. It's not just in everyone's big view the entire time. But only three, unless the th falling off the bridge counts as a failure, but that's what we have right now. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Mm. More moments of Dillian. <laughs> Trying to see if there's any... Okay, there are a lot of, like, posts going across. Oh. Okay. So maybe we go back to the bridge at some point. Tree. Oh. Why are we going to the tree? Ooh. Hello. I am still in control of the camera. And a little bit of the her, but she is also fascinated looking around. The tree so that he used to see. practice under. See the world through eyes anew and dance with it, just like he does. We go this way, just so we don't miss any lore stones if there are any in this little vision. But we are a little blocked off. Can't go that way, there's an invisible wall. So we'll go this way. Invisible wall. Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. But she is seeing this. And I love that for her. Okay, we are on a pretty strict path, it looks like. We got um, walls to either side if we try to go that way. We 
means there's really only one way to go. And I am having her run while we can because of just the fact that there is a speed issue. Take a look. Okay. I am no longer in control of the speed or movement. Oh, baby. She looks so happy. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you. And you learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trial. Just come along. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment. When you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Norsemen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Okay. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel it. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Okay, good for her. Good fighting back. Do we even still have our sword handle, or is it just the hilt now? Is that you? I'll find you. Okay. All right, we have an auto save for the first time in a while. Can you see him? You want to believe it? Is he not real? Is he mad? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Thalia? Nothing lives here. Oh, Lordstone. So, can I not look at this one? Is this not one? Sure is poised like a lore stone. Hmm. That's odd. Okay, that's not anything. Y'all, give me a minute. I have the distinct feeling that I have missed something, and that's why it has not uh, unlocked that yet. So I'm going to go back, but I will speed up this process. If I don't find anything, then I don't find anything. All right, let's go. Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. 
The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Okay. Alright, there's one. I think we might have missed more, so let's keep going. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured. And Sigir has them buried alive. Okay. How many more do we have left? Two. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so I need two more. Pro are they gonna? Hmm. Let's see. We didn't get to see this path before. Oh. Wait, is that the same? It's the same one that didn't work earlier. Hmm. Maybe it'll work now? But this one is not made of the same material as the others. So maybe... Not yet. I just don't want to go too far and then not be able to get the runes again. I mean, at this point, um, I have missed two. I think that's all you need to not get whatever. Oh, there's one dead ahead. And are you, are you also not, you're not something. Hold on. Yeah, not yet. Okay, I have not unlocked that yet. Okay. Okay, feel better about that. Now that I can see there's one right over here. How do I get to you? There we go. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Green, okay. Alright, we're going around the tree. We've got shit in the tree, got bodies in the tree. Let's see what's up. Oh, 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 oh. I saw a little glimmery flash. And also... A rune stone. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Last one. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, 
an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Okay. He tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Gram. Gram. Okay. Let's keep going until we start reaching the next bit. I am curious on whether or not those other lore stones are going to be lit up now. Yeah, let's 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 just look in here. Nope, nothing there. Okay, so not time yet, haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, okay, good to know. Okay, I saw a way up um around the tree, so we'll just Turn towards the tree. Oh, that's terrifying is what that is. Let's go. King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tierving. Okay, uh, I think that is where we're going to leave off this time. Some things are very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death, because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Alright. 
like I was saying, I think this is where we're going to leave off this time. We have filled up the uh, area of lore stones, and I believe we are about to enter into the next one. I know it's another short one this week, but uh, next week it looks like we're going to be getting into uh, several trials, if I can have anything to say about it. So, until then, I hope you all take care. Let me know what you think about this game in the comments down below. I know this wasn't a huge step forward. Um, we just looked at lore, we got to hear about Sigurd and Sigun, and just, like, I now know the name of the runes. I have that pulled up on my screen, so when we start actually looking for them, I can tell you that I'm looking for things like, uh, Rido instead of the R, and so on. So, again, thank you all for watching, I appreciate everyone for being here, and until next week... Uh, take care, love you, and bye.